So this must be about, I don't know, the tenth time I've tried to record this video, and it's been a bit, been a bit of a struggle. So anyway, I'll, I'll just continue whatever happens now. Um, this video is really about me using a Practica as a Practica BX20 as a professional camera, and I know it sounds completely strange and odd, but I'll I'll, I'll explain the story to you. First of all, though, I'm actually filming this just as, as a bit of fun. I've got my Helios um, 58 lens on the camera at the moment, and I just thought I'd try and film it with that. And that's caused a load of other problems with focusing. Um, so it, the focusing is probably out. I can I can hardly tell. But I went out this afternoon and took some photographs with it strapped to my A7S, and here are some of the shots I took. And you, I think you'll be surprised just how sharp this, this lens is. So I'll show you those. So I used to live in a place called Kempston, and it's a couple of miles away from where I live now. I lived in a shared flat, and they were called the Banana Flats back in the day. And they, I think they're still called that now. Nick, they still have the same nickname. And I had a load of professional cameras. I had a Bronica. I had um, some Canon cameras, Canon professional cameras. And I ended up, you know, not doing so well financially. So I had to sell the Bronica, and I was left with the Canon camera. Now all the flats all also had interior doors for the different bedrooms, so that each individual bedroom could be locked. So basically, you go in, you lock yourself in, or, or lock your door. In your, in, your, in your bedroom, but there was obviously a communal area as well. And I just left my Canon camera upstairs in the communal area, and we had a balcony, and people could get to the balcony and open our door from outside. Uh, I come home, and my Canon camera was gone. And I had no money, I, I had no camera, and I was meant to be doing professional work. And good old bank of mum, um, come to the rescue and all she she could do for me was buy me a Practica BX20. This is the BX20 and that's the one I used for a few months while I was getting things sorted, getting things back together. And I did use it for a photograph, photographs in a magazine shoot, but that's kind of like a long story how I got to do that and who I was working with at the time. And I also did, but not on this camera, I did some photographs and that was with a that was with another Bronica a few years later for FHM magazine. And that was because I was a portrait photographer and I was the only person who had these particular photographs of this particular person. So that's why that happened. So anyway, I've used this, this one. This is a, obviously not the same one. It's one I've bought since then. I've used this a couple of times and the lens is quite, it's actually quite soft. It's not the sharpest of lenses. So I'm, I'm going to show you some of the photographs I've taken with this recently, some color and some black and white. But what I do like about the camera is it's obviously aperture priority and um, it does in half, half stop movements where a lot of the cameras like the Olympus lenses, they, they, they do in, in full stop movements. It also, ha it also goes up to 3200 ISO and this is the camera I used to do the photographs when I was testing 3200 ISO films and push processing, processing. So it's not that bad, but it's not, obviously it's not the best. And also it's got uh, exposure compensation, which is another good thing. So anyway, that's my little story about me and my Practica BX20 taking photographs that were seen in national magazines. If you want to find out more on what they were, you need to message me. All right, speak to you soon. Bye now.